For almost 50 years, families of this South London suburb have called the Eastfields estate their home. But time has not been kind. And inside these three-storey blocks, owned and managed by Britain's biggest housing association, their tenants feel as tired and neglected as the crumbling buildings they're forced to live in. Mum of three, Juliet Arthur, and her husband work three jobs between them to afford the £1,300 a month clarion housing charge to live in this. This is where the hole is. Oh, wow. That's how he left it. A leak in her living room she first reported in June 2020 went unfixed, so in November the ceiling caved in, inches from where her son was doing schoolwork. Imagine having your child sitting there under a roof and it just dropped. And my children, the little one came, Mummy, the roof has come down. Do you worry about their safety when you're not here? Every day. Seven months on, the hole remains, and the leak has plunged the house into darkness. None of the lights upstairs have worked since November, including the children's bedroom. My mum keep on calling them, and they're not, like, messaging or calling, saying, oh, um, we're going to be coming. Yeah. No, they don't. No. On the other side of the estate, Janet is working two jobs to pay for a clarion flat that is falling apart. She shows us the squalor that is her rotting, broken bathroom and the kitchen where she cooks for her family crumbling around her. The ceilings covered in mould, the walls full of holes. She's had to fill in herself to keep out a growing infestation of mice. And the mouse come from this hole. What, well, the mouse come through here? Yeah. So what's the, is this cement? Yes, yeah, it's a cement. It's Did a you do this? Yeah, I do it. What is that? It's a hole. What's, why is there a hole there? I don't know. When I come here, what's here? So it's been like that for 27 years? Yes. Have you told them about the problems in here? I, I told them. I told them. So they don't care. They don't care. Janet isn't the only tenant to report a rodent problem to Clarion. Eastfield's residents shared with us video after video of mice and rats in their kitchens, their bedrooms and their bathrooms. Clarion has promised to regenerate this estate and move tenants into new properties. But the dozens of tenants we spoke to in the two weeks we spent here say that promise was first made six years ago and still no one has been moved. Why have so many Clarion tenants been left to live in Eastfield's in such squalor for so many years. Getting the balance right between how much you spend in the short and the long term on an estate that ultimately has come to the end of its life is difficult. I'm absolutely clear that we have not got the balance right on the Eastfields estate and I'd like to apologise on behalf of Clarion to all of those residents. Tenants think that you think they aren't important. They complain for years and nothing really gets fixed. Then we turn up and suddenly things start to get fixed. And they look at that and they think, oh, no, we were right. We don't matter to them. They're right, aren't they? I and the senior management team are completely committed to putting in extra resources on this estate to get this right. These homes may have reached the end of their life, but their replacements haven't even started being built. In the meantime, residents fear their suffering will continue to be met with silence.